I'm Laura Stevenson. I'm a professor of political science at the University of Western Ontario. My research is mostly about political behavior, and what we mean by that is anything to do with how people engage with the political world around them. I also uh, research uh, other countries and how things work, especially in a comparative sense, so we can understand if Canada's unique or not. We've recently begun a multi-year project uh, to inform the Consortium on Electoral Democracy, which is a, a, a big project that is going to coordinate the gathering of survey data for federal and provincial elections over the next several years here in Canada. And one of the more exciting parts of CDEM is that we'll also be doing uh, public opinion surveys during non-election times. And this is relevant because it's really something new. So polls happen all the time by commercial polling firms and things like that. But in terms of the academic study of how people feel about government when they do, usually that is actually confined to election periods. But one of the main research goals of CEDEM is actually to um, challenge that a little bit and to look a little more in depth by asking the same types of questions during election times and non-election times so we can understand whether citizens pay any attention to their government at all when there's not an election coming up and they're not activated by a campaign and there's not stuff in all the newspapers and on TV and on social media. And we're going to be able to gauge how people's opinions change or don't change uh, during those times. And why does this all matter? Well, put very simply, um, democracy can't function unless we have the input of citizens. And so citizens have to tell people or tell someone somewhere, right? They have to register their preferences. They have to say, I want this candidate to be governing for me or I really like the policies of this party or something like that. And if they can't register that preference or if they choose not to or if they do so in a way that isn't clear then this has lots of implications for kind of the quality of governance in terms of the translation of what the citizens want to what the government actually provides.